All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is, is Pelosi gunning for the White House? We're going to talk about that right after this. Because I am hard, you will not like me. But the more you hate me, the more you will learn. All right, so the reason I ask you is she got in for the White House because I'm going to I'm going to say this. If they are successful in convicting Donald Trump on these trumped up charges, she will be next in line. You didn't know that, did you? Because if Trump is convicted, both he and Pence have to be removed, thereby making her the sitting bull. Now, this changes my opinion a little bit about, excuse me, this changes my opinion a little bit about how the impeachment may or may not work out. While I'm confident that this woman does not have a case it doesn't mean that there's not a bigger agenda in play here in conjunction to which you've heard me talk about agenda 21 and agenda 2030 in a minute I'm going to get to some of the bills that she has introduced which kind of go along with that um, such as a Government for the People Act, basically allowing a little bit more leeway on political contributions by us. Why is it called Government for the People Act? Not everybody contributes to politicians. I sure don't. Not, not, not no, absolutely not. So I have a couple clips I want to play because that's what I'm famous for. Um, but before we get on to that, uh, if you're watching this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and a comment. Now well, let's get into this real quick video uh, and I'll come right back, okay? The co-chair of Women for Trump, Gina Loudon. When has Nancy in her long career in Washington ever been about protecting the Constitution? She only uses the Constitution, Jesse, when it behooves her to do so, when she can trample on it for her own personal motives and power grabs. And we know that to be true about Nancy, and that's what the American people are seeing over and over again. When you look at things like this whole show we had to watch this week, but also you think about things like six out of seven of the managers that she appointed for this whole process were already supporting impeachment before the whistleblower even said a word. That tells you that this whole thing is rigged, this whole thing is a hoax, just exactly like everything they've done since this president, President Trump, has started working for the American people and been the most wildly successful president in history. They can't stand it. They have no chance of winning, so they continue to set themselves up to look like fools, and that's exactly what they've done. That made me sick. Now, there's unconfirmed rumor that she took somewhere to the tune of two point seven billion dollars out of I want to say Social Security I'll have to find that out to fund this trial she spent forty eight thousand dollars on pens that are shaped like bullets she's not serious about this impeachment and and this whole this whole thing isn't really making a lot of sense now I want to get to this one real quick as soon as I can make it bigger hang on guys picture of you with your father and John Kennedy in the White House in the early 1960s you have worked with six presidents dating back to 1987 with Ronald Reagan 
So I'm wondering what it's like to work with this president on these issues. Well, the other presidents I've uh, worked in, we, uh, as a member of Congress, yes, with six presidents, not so much with Ronald Reagan because that was <coughs> sort of the end of his term when I came in. She's and been in since 1987. George Herbert Walker Bush and with President Bush, George W. Bush for two Republican presidents. Um, they believed in governance. They believed in governance. So you could work with them because they believed that there is a public role in the lives of the American people. And, um, but this president does not, he doesn't believe in science and he doesn't believe in governance. So it's very hard to get anything done if you don't believe in the way to get it done or want the reason to do something. Well, this is quite different. But again, I have uh, always respected the office of the president. Really? The presidency, as I would hope they respect Article I, the Congress of the United States. And it was much different to work with the other presidents than with this president. Did you hear her say she respects the office of the president? Did you hear her say that it was easier to work with the other presidents because basically they could be manipulated into getting things done the way she wants them? Which begs the question, is she gunning for the White House? I, I have to ask that. Because if she's so confident that this is going to go through, and like I said, take these off now. <laughs> like I said, if, if this is successful, she will go into the, uh, the White House. She will remain in uh, term until the election comes along in 2020. She will have a lot more pull for people like Joe Biden or Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders is gaining popularity. We... Pardon me, we don't want him in. We really don't. Dang, excuse me, guys. We really don't want him in. I had pizza. Because if we have him in, between him and her, we're doomed. Like I said, it's starting to make a little bit more sense. Go ahead and follow me on social media. Uh, subscribe and give me a comment let me know what you think